Representative Kristen Bonner is tackling two bills this session that she says have common sense at the heart of them. In today's Newsmakers, reporter Shannon Slatton sat down with her to learn more about them. Healthcare um, affordability and accessibility has always been top of mind for me. Um, and if you've ever been to a doctor's office, you've surely run up against prior authorization, right? Uh, the the insurance company deciding whether or not you should have the ability to have a service, a procedure, or even a prescription. And unfortunately, we've come to a place in time where prior authorization has been used more and more as a, a barrier or a gatekeeper to care rather than where it actually makes the most sense. And this bill targets specifically those areas where there's a high degree of um, acceptance on prior authorization, where more likely than not, an individual would receive that care and would be authorized to get that care. Such as? So it could be um, any number of, uh, of procedures and, and minor things. Mostly it applies to preventative care um, and that's where we want to spend most of our focus. But really what it's saying is if this is a preventative measure that could prevent someone from getting um, more ill or sicker, that we want you to be able to not have to bump over those speed bumps or those barriers. Um, and it just doesn't make sense. Um, what often happens with that is it delays the care, it could make the condition worse, um, it could prevent a necessary surgery or something in a more urgent situation, and we certainly don't want that to happen. So this bill is really about common sense reforms to make sure that people are getting the care that they deserve. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.